Welcome back to Theology 101. Uh, today we're going to discuss the argument from gradation. Um, this is an argument that you'll find in Thomas Aquinas' Summa Theologica. Uh, it's a cool argument. I, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, once again, I'm not entirely sure that really any of the arguments that we've discussed here on this channel will actually get you to the Christian God. But I do think that they, they let's say they a add a grain of sand to the side of theism, at least. Um, so this is an argument from gradation. Uh, among beings, some are more or less noble or true, okay? Uh, and so when you think about human beings, when you think about perhaps even the behavior of a horse in battle, right, whether or not the horse is noble or courageous, and you begin to, you begin to um, grade these particular um, qualities, right? Some people are more courageous than other people. Some things are brighter than other things. Some things are hotter than other things. Uh, the idea of things, the second premise, is the idea of more or less um, is predicated in reference to some kind of like maximum, some kind of ultimate. So perhaps the hottest thing or the brightest thing or the most courageous, the thing in which there is nothing more courageous than that thing. Uh, and so all of these gradations are all in reference, sometimes it can be in reference to each other, but they are also in reference to some kind of maximum. Thus, we would conclude as theists, as Christians, that the maximum of what is true, of what is noble, what is best, is God. Um, here's a couple examples to kind of round out our five here. A couple examples would be something like, what is the source? What is the best? Like we want to use the word goodest, but what is the source of good? There are many things in this world that are good, right? Things taste good. Things look good. Um, you can do good things, good moral things. Uh, in Christian theology, we talk about Christian good. Um, so there's lots of goods. There's different gradations of good. Because even perhaps you could say that, you know, a, a mass murderer did something good. Or there's something good about them, even though they've done this terribly moral thing. Uh, or immoral thing. Uh, but still, in the end, there are these gradations. So the question we would ask is, what is the greatest good? And we would conclude that all good comes from God. He is the fountain of this kind of goodness, of aesthetic goodness, of Christian goodness, of moral goodness. All come from God. A more practical example would be something like, and I think Aquinas uses the idea of a sun, the sun. So we would say a fire, right? A fire is hot and it gives light. But then when compared to the sun, it's not even close. Perhaps like the sun would be considered something like the maximal heat, maximal light. Then, of course, as we've you know, explored the stars since then, we know that there are hotter stars and that there are brighter stars. Um, but then we would ask the question, is there something that is maximally hot, something that there's nothing else in all of the world and all of creation that could be hotter or brighter than that thing? And... I mean, on that level, and not in the same way, not univocally, and maybe that's something we can talk about later, but in, a, in an analogical way, God is the brightest. He is the hottest, as it were, and we could talk about those kinds of things if that's something that you guys would want to talk about. But uh, anyway, that is the argument from gradation. You have more or less, all right? Um, that more or less is measured against some kind of maximum, and that maximum is God. I'm going to give you a couple examples of maximal goodness and maximal heat or brightness. Anyway, my name is Peter Van Cleek. This is Theology 101. Thanks for hanging out. I'll talk to you later. So if you like this video, maybe you'd like some others. Take a look around. <laughs>